This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, the 7th of August. I'm Michael Graff. Yesterday in the valley, right where we should be, climatologically speaking, a high of 105, a low of 84. And for today, very similar to yesterday, the monsoon remains on vacation. No chance of showers or storms. The humidity levels will remain relatively low. And we'll see a gradual warm-up of temperatures, though, as we head toward the middle part of the week. Chances of showers and storms will return by this weekend as the monsoon moisture comes back in. Let's talk about it as we look outside this morning here at 6 a.m. Mostly clear skies in the valley right now, 84 degrees in Sky Harbor. The dew point is 55, so it's definitely drier out there than we have been in recent days. Relative humidity, 37%. The winds are light. The barometer is rising. Temperatures across the area this morning, mid-70s on the board in some spots like Maricopa. Sections of the East Valley, 77 degrees. That's not bad. Meanwhile, mid-80s in the warmest desert locations. Here's the water vapor satellite view, and this illustrates best what happened to the monsoon. It's not here. You see the darker colors over much of the southwest. That is drier air. The monsoon moisture is suppressed well to the south and east as troughing sits along the west coast, and the general flow aloft is westerly. Here's the watch warning map. The fire danger continues across much of the Pacific Northwest. Meanwhile, flood watches, a few flood warnings in parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Missouri. And here's the convective outlook for today. A slight risk of severe storms around Virginia Beach. A marginal risk extends through much of the Deep South. And another marginal risk zone across parts of New Mexico and West Texas. And as far as our weather, we'll delve into the details of that now as we check the models. Here's the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time today. High pressure centered south of the state, troughing north of the state. And that means, generally speaking, a dry west or southwesterly flow here. Very warm temperatures in the mid-levels. The air mass is extremely stable. So that just results down here at the surface in mostly sunny skies and high temperatures 102 to 106 for today. A few afternoon breezes. That's about the only sensible weather we'll have. Tonight, clear skies, low humidity, dry conditions. Lows in the uh, upper 70s to mid 80s. Tomorrow, a little bit warmer. Sunny skies continue. Dry air. Highs 105 to 109. And then on Wednesday, we should surpass the 110 mark in many desert locations. Highs, we'll say, 107 to 111. With a sunny sky continuing. A few afternoon breezes. There could be an isolated shower or storm just south of the state or right along the border, especially towards southeast Arizona. But uh, the moisture levels are going to remain low. By Thursday, a little bit more moisture starts to creep into the far eastern part of the state. The flow aloft beginning to turn more southeasterly there as high pressure sets up over Texas. Uh, but for now, we'll stay dry. High temperatures right around 106 to 110 here in the valley. Really the same thing on Friday. A bit more coverage of showers and storms. They'll become more numerous in the eastern third of the state. Certainly can't rule out an isolated shower or storm coming in here Friday afternoon, Friday evening, though. We'd say a 10% chance for now. High temperatures are going to lower a bit, too, with the added humidity coming back. Highs around 103 to 107. Saturday, more numerous showers and storms across the state. How much moisture comes in is still a bit of a question mark. But with generally south to southeasterly flow in place with high pressure over Texas, uh, looks like at least a chance of showers and storms getting here into the valley. Then as we head to Sunday, again, more questions than answers. The surface boundary pushes southward across the nation's midsection, unusually far to the south for the middle part of August, as the westerlies are very active. And if this solution verifies, we might start to see a southwesterly flow reintroduced here to our state, at least for the western half of Arizona. So showers and storms might be on the decrease again. The monsoon not sticking around very long. But this solution is not widely supported. Certainly, the European is far more generous with moisture through the weekend and even into early next week. So this is definitely a question mark. I'd say at least a low-grade monsoon should continue at this point. High temperatures coming down a little bit further, around 100 to 104. And this is the flow aloft on Sunday depicted by the GFS. And if this is right, yeah, look at that. Most of the state in westerly or southwesterly flow. So that would help to push moisture away from us and keep showers and storms away from the valley. Let's go out to a week from today. This is Monday, the 14th of August. The GFS depicting troughing setting up across the Pacific Northwest. High pressure pushed to the south across northern Mexico. Kind of similar to what we're seeing today. And 
If that's right, then the monsoon moisture would be pushed away from us once again and we'd start to dry out and temperatures would stay at or maybe even below normal with the presence of trough and getting closer. Here's Tuesday, the 15th of August. This depicts more of a dry scenario for us, but I still have a lot of questions about this. This looks very anomalous for the middle part of August and I have a feeling that this will not verify as shown here. But if it does, by chance, high temperatures still right around normal, 101 to 105, and dry conditions. And this is true also for the end of the forecast period, Wednesday the 16th of August. The GFS depicts troughing blocked across the northwest part of the country. And here in the southwest, generally southwesterly flow and dry conditions would continue. Uh, the caveat to that is that the GFS is depicting a hurricane down there south of the Baja, but... Boy, you know how that is. Uh, the GFS loves to put those little features in here. Uh, even though the Eastern Pacific tropical season has been very active, uh, I still have a lot of question marks about that, too. The bottom line is there's a lot of forecast uncertainty beyond about Saturday. Let's look at temperatures through the period. This is coming off of the GFS ensemble, and it certainly has warm conditions this week. Highs pushing up toward 110. But then look at that. Temperatures at or even below normal for much of next week through much of middle August. And that'll do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video comes back here tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for watching. As always, really do appreciate it. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe to us. So that way, whenever we post a brand new one, you will hopefully get the notifications. Otherwise, be safe out there. Stay cool. Have a great Monday.